Hello students, welcome to Mathemafia. Has somebody ever asked you whether a given number is a rational number or an irrational number and you find yourself stuck? Yes? Then this video is for you. So here we'll learn whether a given real number is a rational number or an irrational number. First let's talk about the rational numbers. A rational number is that real number in which the decimal portion is either finite, for example 10.2. In this, the decimal portion has just one digit, 2, which is finite, or 4.3456. In this number also, the decimal portion is finite. It has just four digits, 3456. And it's also possible that the decimal portion is 0. For example, in 12, it can be written as 12.0. So all these real numbers where the decimal portion is finite are called rational numbers. It is also possible that the decimal portion of the rational numbers is infinite but it is of the repeating pattern. For example, 4.3333333 and so on up to infinity. Here the decimal portion is infinite but it has just one digit which is repeating itself infinitely. It's also possible that the decimal portion has multiple digits which are repeating in a pattern and it may start at any position. For example, 23.12752752752 up to infinity. So here the decimal portion has a pattern 275 which is repeating infinitely. One thing that's common in all these real numbers that we've discussed is that they can be written in the form P by Q where p and q are co-prime integers and q is not equal to 0. For example, 10.2 can be written as 102 by 10, which can be simplified as 51 by 5. Here 51 and 5 are co-prime and the denominator is not equal to 0. And if we take 4.333333 and so on, it can also be written as 13 by 3, which is again of the form p by q. So now we know that rational numbers are those numbers which can be written in the form of p by q where p and q are co-prime integers and q is not equal to 0. So now it's very easy to define what are irrational numbers. Irrational numbers are those numbers which are not rational hence they are those numbers which cannot be written in the form p by q. In other words we can say that irrational numbers are those numbers which have a decimal portion which is non-terminating and non-repeating. For example, in the number 1.101011111 and so on, the digits in the decimal part are infinite, non-repeating. Such numbers are called irrational numbers. Other common examples of irrational numbers are root 2, root 3. In fact, square root of any prime number is going to be irrational. You want to know the proof of this? Just click on the link above. So now you know whether a given number is rational or irrational. And you also know that if a number is rational, it cannot be irrational because set of rational and irrational numbers are disjoint. Why? Because rational numbers can be written as in the form P by Q, where P and Q are co-prime integers and Q is not equal to zero, whereas irrational numbers cannot be written in the form P by Q. So that's it from this video. Keep watching Mathemafia. Mathemafia.